Hello, good afternoon. It's a lovely day, Saturday, the 11th of May, I believe. And here I am at Walnut Tree Farm Fisheries, just on the outskirts of Attleborough. We're not actually fishing today, me and CJ. We're just visiting some waters that we plan to fish in the near future. And we're just gonna show you what those waters are, where they are, and what they contain sort of stuff. So we'll be having a little trip around Norfolk today, visiting various spots that we intend to fish. This is a lovely water. It's about five to six pounds a day for two rods, I believe. There is 20 pound carp in this little water, as well as a lot of upper doubles, mid doubles, and lower fish. You've also got your tench, quality perch, roach, and rud in here. And the canal at the back also holds chub, as well as carp, tench, maybe a few skimmers, roach, and rud. But they have had to half the size of the canal after we had the severe heat wave two years ago, they lost a hell of a lot of water. And to save the canal and to keep it fishable, they're half the size of it, which uh, is a good thing, I believe. Anyway, we're going to have a walk round. There's several people fishing. They all seem to have caught fish. So the fishery's fishing well. So we'll have a look round and see what we can see. Well, here we are then. This is the canal. It's only half the size of what it used to be, like I said earlier. But we're up the far end of it, and there's a lot of fish behind me. Nothing big, it's not a carp canal, it's a match canal. And uh, the carp, I suppose, go to about five or six pound. Ones behind me are in the three pound bracket, and some are a little bit smaller. There's even some chub behind me. And uh, CJ will probably give you a look at what is behind me in a minute. And this canal is well worth fishing. Especially on the, I like fishing it on the four metre whip. Sweet corn, maggot, pallet, bread, they all work. Worms, there's even some quality perch in there. So I'll hand you over to Charlie now and he'll show you exactly what's going on behind me. And uh, then we'll stroll on to our next venue. Well, here we are at venue two. It's just on the outskirts of Thetford, just off the A11. Lovely mill pool and a part of the River Thet running into it. Let's go and have a look. It's full of chub, dace, roach, rud, perch, small pike. The actual mill pool is located over on my left. With the river flowing under this bridge. And Ben on this bridge is always a good place to spot fish. So we'll go and have a look there to start with. Well, here we are then, looking down at the river. It's crystal clear. Lots of little fish about. Small chub, dace, roach. Lots of children swimming in the water as well. Which is only to be expected this time of the year. And obviously all summer, I suppose. But we'll walk down to the mill pool and have a look. Uh, that's the better fishing area. So we'll stroll on down there now and uh, see if we can see any fish down there. Well, here we are then, looking at the other side of the bridge. And even now, we haven't had any rain really for ages. Not proper rain like we did in the winter. But this river has still got a good flow to it. A really good flow. Which is nice and healthy. Never fished in this side of the river. And I can't see any fish. So we'll go and have a look at the mill pool. If you'd like to follow me. Lovely little swim in there. You've got about four foot of crystal clear water in front of you but not, it must drop down because I can't see the bottom out towards the middle. So a nice little swim. Can't see any fish, but definitely a lovely area to fish. Another one of these classic mill pool swims. Crystal clear water, you can see the gravel and the sand 
go out about 20 feet from the bank, then it just seems to drop off. And then you've got a load of cabbages. I reckon that's a good spot in the dark water up against the cabbages. But a typical mill pool swim. You've got all the trees overhead. You'll never be able to cast out overhead. So just a little side flip. Classic fishing. When I did actually fish here with CJ, I weren't actually last summer, it was the summer before. And just dropping under this bush with a bit of bread or a bit of corn is a good spot. I actually caught some nice chub here. I just flick it out, just keep away from the snags, but make sure you get under the bush. And you can see the power of the water. I can still mm -hmm. see the bottom actually, but I cannot see any fish. Another good spot is on the far bank at the end of the concrete. Just go past the concrete, nice bit of bread or sweet corn, even a worm. That's very good for chub, quality roach, and the odd nice perch over there. As well as obviously you've got your small pike in there. I've never seen any big pike in there. But who knows? That doesn't mean there ain't any big pike in there. Now I'm gonna show you the pool that comes at the end of the river into the where there's a lot of children swimming in there at the moment so it's going to be a bit tricky but we're going to have a look well here we are at the pool that comes into the weir it's four to five foot deep crystal clear slightly cloudy today because the kids are swimming in it again i can't see a single fish on the gravel in four foot of water it's a nice stream of weed then there's a gap between the weed and the weed and cabbages on the far bank. Uh, if you fish in that gap between the two sets of weed, that is a good place to be for small chub, roach, perch, and whatever else comes along. Also, in that shady bit on the far bank, right in the corner there, can also produce fish. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I'm looking in there. I can't see any fish whatsoever. Nothing which is really surprising. But there you go, the River Thet at Thetford, Weirpool. Well worth giving it a go. Free fishing, maggots, worms, sweet corn, bread, chub, roach, rudd, perch and pike. Give it a go. And with that, I think I'm going to take, I think me and CJ are going to take you all on another little adventure. And we'll go and have a look at another Weirpool, but this time it's in the middle of the forest. Well here I am at Bridgham, got a lovely stretch of river and something really special halfway along the river. Now what I believe, this is the river Thet and we're at a place called Bridgham, which is right in the forest on the outskirts of Thetford. The river's got a good bit of depth to it, full of chub, dace, roach, perch, pike, and a few surprises. Maybe the odd tench, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure about skimmers and bream, but it's a lovely river. And if we walk down, there's a weir pool a little bit further in, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, anyway, this is where you enter. Let's have a walk along the river. Yeah. 
You can fish anywhere along here. That's all free fishing, as long as you've got a fishing license. And I'm just looking in the margins. And I've got my Polaroids on, so I can see a lot better than in the water than the camera can. And there's a good depth right in the margins. I'm looking at four to five foot of water under my feet. So hopefully it's the same on the far bank. Now, as you can see, there is a, I don't know if you can see though, I'm just taking it for granted that the camera can see into the water, but there is a drop off and it does go quite deep after the drop off. And I do like the idea of putting a bait under that tree for a nice big chub. You must be able to hear it now. We're approaching the wheel, weir pole. And Trevor at Best Thought Farm Shop, he's the man to go and speak to about this stretch. Anything I know about this stretch, I learned from Trevor. He's a good old boy and his bait shop and tackle shop is spot on. But he will tell you all about Bridgem. Hello? Hello? Is this yours? Just found a dog's lead line and there's a lady and a gentleman in front of me with a dog, with two dogs. So I naturally assumed that this dog lead was theirs, but it's not. So what we'll do, we'll hang it up on the railings. And if anyone come looking for it, uh, the gentleman has lost it. So we'll pass that on. That's a good result. Yeah, sure. You're welcome, my man. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Take care. So here we are at the weir pool. The water's coming through at a fierce rate. We've had a lot of water, a lot of rain this winter, so the rivers are still high. And uh, that's good to see them like this. Because I know come June the 16th and we get into the hotter months, this stretch will lose depth, we'll lose water. But there's a lot of fish in here. Uh, good dace, chub, roach, perch, pike, Got to be some rud, I should imagine. Whether there's any bream, skimmers and tench, I don't know. But like I said, go and see Trevor at Best Up Tackle Shop and he'll give you any information you need to know about this piece of water. Years ago, it used to be a good stretch. It is a good stretch, but what I mean is years ago, it was a lot better stretch with big pike. And I'll show you some of the spots that people have told me they caught big pike from as we walk up the river a little bit. But the river has changed over the years and the deep spots just aren't there anymore and all the big pike just seem to have gone. The river Thet has suffered terribly through waters and pollution from farms and other things. But if you come to this weir pool in the forest, you will catch fish. Right, we'll move on up the river and have a look at a few of the old spots the boys used to fish 20, 30 years ago. And I'll show you and talk to you about the fish that they used to catch from the spots. Lovely Norfolk River. Don't get a lot of attention like the Wensum and the Air, the Thurn and the Burr and the Ant, but the River Thet is worth giving a go. Even if you get out to Barton Mills just before the M11, the stretch there has carp in it. Okay then we'll take a walk up the river to uh, one of the bends and we'll have a little chat there. You have to excuse my walking I've got a really dodgy hip at the moment and it is giving me loads of grief. That's why I haven't been fishing recently because I can't sit down in the fishing chair for so long. But it is getting better and I'll be out again soon fishing with Charlie. That looks beautiful down there, doesn't it? Can you see in there? With my Polaroids on, that looks absolutely lovely. I can't see any fish though. What I like about walking along these rivers this time of the year is the soil along the banks is so soft. So I constantly look for otter signs, otter tracks. And I have to say on this stretch, I haven't seen any. Last time I came for a look here, I didn't see any signs of any otters. Yet I know there is otters in the river Thet. 
Now I've got a bit of a muddy puddle to go through here, but I think we'll be fine. And these sort of areas are the places you should be looking to see if there is otters present, because their footprints is gonna stand out like a sore thumb to the fact that I don't think I can get through here in my trainers unless I go on the soft sand. I know it sounds stupid, but that's probably firmer than the mud. And as you can see, it, it, it is, and I've got through quite nicely. <laughs> now, I like this spot. You've got a nice bank of sand three quarters away across, but then right down here, coming off that sand bank to the near bank, I can't see the bottom. So you've got a good five to six foot deep down there. Lovely place to fish. Now, as we come up to this corner, there's a tree on the other side. I've heard a few stories from uh, people that used to fish here years ago. One being my old mate, John Forder, who was head bailiff at Rockland Manor Fishery. Good old boy, John. And the stories he's told me about this bend where he used to fish with his father for pike, there used to be a deep hole on this bend, somewhere out there around where that tree is. And they did used to catch big pike out of it. Uh, I think he said that was about eight or nine foot deep, but it just don't exist anymore because of the silt that's come down the river over the years, I suppose. But as I'm looking at the water here, I can see the flow turns and come back on itself on the, this near bank. So I wouldn't mind putting a stick float out there. This is good little stick float swim. And then put a feeder by that lot of snags over there in the corner. And then as we come off the corner, I can see some reeds. I'm always looking on the floor to see if I can see any otter prints and deer prints. I like to see the deer. But I haven't seen any signs of any otters along this river. Plenty of dogs. And again, close in, you've got undercut banks, six foot of water under your feet, gotta be. And then as it go out over there, lovely ledged lobworm or something like that. And then if CJ can turn the camera and look down the river, because I'm not gonna walk down there, you can see there's other trees overhanging and the way the river goes. So come and give it a go. Like I said, go and see Trevor at Best Thought Farm Shop and he'll put you right. Bridge and Weirpool, can't go wrong.